Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing yoga for jet lag. And this class will focus on getting us in the flow, moving every part of the body, twisting, grounding ourselves, tapping into our breath, feeling the feet, the earth underneath us, which is very important. When we move from one place on the earth to another, that's probably one of the most important things. And of course, stretching, strengthening and building up some, improving some circulation, the circulation in the body. And just a few things that help me. I'll just give you a quick <laughs> review of things that really help me with jet lag. I actually haven't had jet lag in quite a few years. Lots of water before, during, after the flight. Lots, lots, lots of water. A little lighter meals. You don't want to be heavy and just that. You want to have a little lighter, more filled with water, water rich meals that really helps a lot, a lot with the body feeling lighter and less water retention. Uh, immediately putting your feet on the ground when you get to your new location, that helps with grounding. Also, if you can watch sunrises or sunsets or both, that helps with adjusting. And melatonin also helps with um, sleep when you get to the new locations. So those are just a few things that help me. I hope that gives you some ideas and I hope you have had beautiful, amazing, easy travels and flights and let's begin. Remember to flow with strength and ease. Starting at the front of the mat, roll the shoulders back and down, lift through the crown of the head and bring your attention to your feet, press into the outer and inner edges of the feet, lift your toes, pull the belly in and begin to deepen the breath. Taking a few calming breaths. You don't have to strive today just as much as you can comfortably move your body definitely it certainly helps we get pretty stiff from traveling circulation gets challenged so it's good to move everything to help the kidneys inhale the arms over the head clasp and reach over to one side which is a good pose for the kidneys look up press your feet down back to center opposite side Center, one more. Center, one more. And coming back to center, keep your spine straight in neutral alignment. Reach forward, you can bring your arms out, bend the knees slightly. Come into chest parallel to the floor. Lengthen the back of the neck, press the hands behind you if you can interlace the fingers otherwise just fly them out like airplane wings hold here take chair open the right shoulder up you can fly your wings out as if you're cruising through the winds opposite side center and forward bend release the hands down keep your knees slightly bent and you can shift back and forth here this can bring circulation to your head it's really good for your hamstrings and it's an overall good stretch during flight and after i usually do it during the flight as well And you can sway back and forth onto your feet. Get your breath going. A few more of those. Make sure to relax your face muscles and neck. This can help with headaches and just in general 
feeling off. And let's spread the fingers open, step in plank, pull the belly in, strengthening the core, really with intention, mind-body connection here, bring your attention to your core and really squeeze it. Lower down onto your belly, squeeze your elbows in and hold here in Cobra, open. Don't go deep in the pose, just enough to stretch and open everything. Drop the shoulders back and down. Lower down, walk your feet to the right, hands slightly to the right, press your toes down evenly, elbows pressing back and lift here. You can look over the right shoulder. Back to center, and let's walk over, feet to the left, Toes down, hands to the left, elbows in, so don't flare them out. And lift and lengthen, find length even though we're curving here. You can be very low here. All right, back to center, child's pose. Stay with the breath. Let's go for one more back bend. Come onto your knees. Bring your hands onto your lower back. Walk your elbows in. Press the hips forward and lift the chest up. As if you're trying to free this whole entire area. Lift, lift, lift. And exhale, child's pose. following is the full body awakening exercise bring your arms a little wider then for chaturanga fingertips pointing in step your feet on the outside of the mat a little closer we're about down dog alignment here push the body up and lower down come through look up pull the belly in and reverse the move, lower down, lift up here, exhale, reverse it, lower down, and press it back and step in down facing dog, let's take the right leg up, step it through, keep the left hand down, right arm up twisting, this is so needed when you travel, reach over the head and press the right hip back, Press the left heel straight up. Exhale down, lower down. Cobra. Down dog. Take the left leg up. Step it through. Back heel straight up. Take the left arm up. And you can reach your head. And release. Plank. Lower down. Cobra. Child's pose. And downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through. Come up, high lunge, 
open the arms out, twist to the right, drop the hands down and look over the right shoulder, lengthen through the crown of the head and a really nice juicy twist through the spine. Let's take the left arm up and over and deepen this. Exhale, left hand down, right arm up, reach over the head and lift that rib cage up, spin it open. Exhale back. You can do chaturanga or cobra, upper dog, down dog. Take the left leg up. Step it through. Come up. Open the arms out. Twist. Release. Lift. You can grab the knee and look over the shoulder. Keep lifting through the crown of the head. Release the right hand down. The back heel straight up, reach up and over. And release. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through. High lunge. Hands in prayer. Twist, deepening it even more. Inhale over the head, step your left ankle or bring the left ankle over the right knee, flex the foot, sit down, sit into your hip, feel it. Hands in prayer, one more twist, step it back, high lunge, twist. Reach over the head. Focus, ground yourself through your feet, pull the belly in, breath. Step it back, twist. One more, you can do it. Getting everything moving, opening, releasing. And step it all the way back. Release the hands down, plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Inhale the left leg up. Step it through high lunge. Hands in prayer. Twist, lengthen through the crown of the head. So imagine the spiral forming from the crown of the head to the back of the heel. Inhale, coming up, and let's step into standing hip opener. Flex the foot, sit back, feel the hip. Step it back, high lunge, twist. Inhale up, come up. Step it back. Twist. Hip open. Keep the spine in neutral alignment. Feel the hip. All right. Step it all the way back. Plank. Chaturanga, upward dog or cobra, child's pose.
Now we're facing dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through. High lunge. And here we're going to bring the hands behind, interlacing the fingers again. Open the chest, look up, lift. Humble warrior, lower down. Release the hands down, drop the back knee down, walk it further away from you. And stretch here, extending the tailbone down. Let's lift the back. Knee up, roll onto the outer edges of both feet and direct some energy into the hip as if you're sitting back into the hip or leaning into the hip so that you can feel the stretch of the hip. IT bend, glutes, you can reach up, great. Drop the back knee again down on the ground straighten the front leg and flex the foot to stretch the hamstring here great let's step to on the foot again straighten both legs in intense side stretch alignment you can pause here and take the right hand up in revolving triangle this works on every part of the body in beautiful ways. Directing the left heel energy, the energy of the left heel down. Exhale, plank. Chaturanga, upward dog, downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg up. Step it through. Take a big breath here and come up. High lunge. Exhale the hands behind, interlacing the fingers. Open the chest. You can reverse the clasp. Humble warrior. Soft on the shoulders. Release the hands down, walk the right knee further back, stretching here. Stretching the hip flexors, hamstrings, hips, all of that feels usually very juicy after a long sitting. And let's roll on to the outer edges of the feet and open up here, sitting back into the left hip. Great, release the right knee down, straighten the left leg. Lower the chest over. You can keep your hips square here and lengthen the spine so you don't need to create this round thing trying to get your forehead down. Just lead with your belly. So straighten the spine, keeping it in neutral alignment and lower down here. You first want to bring the belly down, then the chest down, maybe the chin down but you don't have to. You can always find a good place to stretch that is not extreme. It's, that type of stretching has a bit more longevity. Mindfulness stretching. 
All right, step onto the front foot and straighten the legs in. And then side stretch alignment, keep the right hand down, take the left arm up and lengthen through the crown of the head. breathe great here we're gonna step at the front step your feet together or hip width apart forward fold you can wrap your wrists around the elbows and stay here for a moment Let's bring the hands somewhere in front of the feet. Step your feet about hip width apart. And we're going to bend the knees. You can point the knees out and straighten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's enough. Let's come on to the tippy toes on the forward bend. And you can bring the right foot to the forearm, left foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Straight back, inhale, coming all the way up, sweeping the arms over the head, side bend, look up, center, side bend, center, exhale the hands over the heart. Take a big breath through the heart, feel your feet. After the class, go step on the ground if you can, on, the gra on grass, on dirt. It's very grounding, it adjusts your internal clock to the new time and also seeing the natural sunlight also adjusts your hormones to the new place. Internal clock, your hormones, melatonin production. Try to keep the breath even, deep. All right, something unusual can help as well. We're gonna step the feet a little wider and do a few hip swirls, dancing, moving. And now start to round your back and push into the back muscles. Push and push and push and push and push. And let's push the arms out and out and out and out. Take plie, steady the hips, steady the legs, and push side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My dog is very elaborate about her snoring, if you hear something weird. All right, few poses here. One, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine ten let's stretch the neck right hand to left temple lift it you can even bring your fingers onto the temple and eyebrow and pull it slightly up for a little face lift as well relax the face opposite side let the neck stretch here So here we're gonna shift side to side. So heel to heel, heel to heel. Push the body back, heel to heel, getting everything to stretch. Flex your foot as you lift your toes. Let's close the feet in slightly. Side, bend, side lunge to side lunge, side lunge to side lunge. We're moving energy in every part of the body. Let's circle the arms feel the muscles involved in this movement shoulders back 
let's do it forward little chest lower down to one side flex the foot opposite side flex the foot hey Sophie and back to plie now we're gonna leave the heel on one side opposite one two three four five six seven eight nine ten usually digestion hormones can suffer from long flights so straighten the legs and step in a white foot alignment hands over the heels we're gonna go for a stomach vacuum exhale and hollow the belly one more one last All right let's step at the front open the arms out palms of the hands up close them in front of the heart one two lengthening the lower back three four five and now we'll transition hands behind the head elbows back open lifting through the heart round the back elbows in two three four five and let's step the feet hip width apart side to side bends elbows back one two three elongate the spine two more one two and release shake your arms shake your leg shake the other leg inhale the hands over the head and go for a forward bend inhale look ahead of your plank chaturanga upward dog downward dog take the right leg up lift the knee drop it behind while thing for front body awakening open 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 and let's go into pigeon right leg forward lower down i'll link it below i have another class a little more intense it's not titled for for jet lag but it's it's amazing for that too so i'll link it below if you want something a little more intense tomorrow it's the one with the beautiful horses in it
And let's go back. Do a few circles with your knee. Step it down. Point the fingertips towards each other. Diamond alignment. Five pike presses. One. Moving the head down towards the floor. Great. Opposite side down dog. Lift the leg. Bend the knee. Well thing. Lift the hips, lift the chest. Lift, lift, lift. Open, open, open. Pigeon. Level the hips. Square the hips, lengthen the spine, lift the rib cage. Keep the spine elongated, lower down, breathe into your hip. Let's come up. Press back. Step it down, lower down onto your belly. Grab your ankles. If you can't, you can use a strap or just reach up. Palms of the hands facing each other. If you can grab them, lift for one more. Awakening pose. Great. Followed by one more. Calming pose. Child's pose. Followed by a little circulation building interval. Take plank. Another take quick steps here, or little jumps with the belly in and Mula Banda engaged, so that we're getting that grounding. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. And yogi squat because it's the most important pose. <laughs> Press your elbows out, really good. Even during a flight, if you're not embarrassed. Let's take the right arm out and about, clasp behind, look up. Opposite side. Sit back, however you wanna sit. Bring your feet about wider than hip width apart and bring your arms behind you, forehead to the ground. So good. Opposite side, keep your heels down. Full spinal twist. Adjustment. Let's go for a plow. Lower down, lift your legs up and over. Mm -hmm. 
and bring the legs up in shoulder stand. Slowly release. A little bit of pelvic floor. Bring your work, so Mula Banda, the Kegel muscle, and we're gonna the pelvic tilt and really engage the lower belly and the pelvic floor muscles. So Mula Banda, pelvic tilt, squeeze of the lower belly, release two. So remember, Mula Banda, lower belly squeeze, pelvic tilt. You can squeeze your butt cheeks to release. And again, they're different, butt cheek squeeze, Mula Banda, completely different things. Release, pelvic tilt, butt cheek squeeze, completely different things. We're doing all three or all four things. Two more. One last. Hug your knees into your chest. Bring your hands behind your knees. Rock up to sit it. Let's bring the right leg extended in front of us. Left knee into the inner thigh. Forward fold. Change sides. Soles of the feet together. Here you can stretch your face. Let's first stretch the neck. So come onto the fingertips, pop the chest up and look up and you can press your chin forward, bottom loop forward to stretch the entire neck here, which also helps with tightening for double chin. So it has a cosmetic purpose too, but it also feels good and needed. You can do it to the right and left. And now open the mouth in an O and look up without lifting the eyebrows just roll your eyes up basically and you can go into real face stretching which is good to kind of release the jaw and stretch the entire face thing upper singer all right good you can even move your all side to side just so that it brings circulation here and that freshens also the complexion. It brings circulation into the face, tones the muscles. Great. Bend your knees and sit either onto your heels if you're pretty tight to the quadriceps or between, between the heels and either stay here or lower down. We're stretching a little bit every part, awakening, stretching. Keep your knees straight, hip width apart down. Elbows down, come back up on 12 fours. Should we do one more vacuum on all fours? Let's do that. So empty the belly and hollow it up towards the spine. Release the next two ones, do them with Mula Banda included. So pelvic floor is engaged. <sighs> One 
one last mula banda and stomach vacuum combined and sit down here you can use mula banda during your braiding meditation i will leave you with whatever quick meditation of your choice uh, you want to do here uh, the best one would be to just observe your breath for anywhere from 30 seconds to a few minutes and just with each inhalation engage mula banda with each exhalation release it so that will allow you to bring your mind into the present not guided meditation but just rather observing your breath and focusing on your root chakra where you want to get grounded and I hope you're feeling a little more refreshed I hope you have a beautiful day and a very relaxing night and let me know how this class worked for you and I'll see you soon namaste